Decatur Youth Services presented a plan to city leaders to build a state-of-the-art youth facility in the community staples been without a home for several years. But the DYS director says the plan depends on what the city council decides to do with the aging Carrie Matthews Rec Center. News 19's Archie Snowden spoke to the Youth Services team about why this facility is so important to Northwest Decatur. I think it's a project can show the community leadership is going to do what they say they're going to do. As director of Decatur Youth Services, Brandon Watkins is in charge of deciding the future of the only after school facility for at risk youth on the north side of the city. DYS has been without a permanent home since the city shut down Carrie Matthews Recreation Center due to foundation issues in 2019. But since then, the services that DYS offers for its youth has been spread throughout the city. But bringing together is just going to be better. And that means everybody come one to one facility. Watkins and his team, a team that includes Nicholas Perkins, the brother of the late Stephen Perkins presented an architect drawing for a brand new facility that includes several school centered programs with indoor and outdoor recreation. The city councilmen, them, everybody supported. I have no problem with nobody at all. Uh, they're backing us 100 percent. Especially with the, uh, the tragedy that, that happened over the last year, uh, we've needed something that was going to bring some type of uh, not necessarily healing, but um, something that would bring everybody together. In 2021, the city allocated $10 million for a brand new DYS facility, but Watkins asked the city for more money. His presentation was applauded by city leaders, but a new budget could delay the project. The DYS plan includes a new Cary Matthews Recreation Center, while the much needed community staple hangs in the balance. Because Cary Matthews uh, kind of runs with DYS with us, so no matter what happened, Indicator, mm -hmm. Archie yeah. Snowden, News 19. So it's not a normal the Decatur City Planning Commission needs to approve the site plan before the city council gives initial approval to move forward.